it's good so good morning. to be with you. Yes. In case you think Renee and I are crazy, well, we are. <laughs> we but, are but, but we have we have an excuse for that. <laughs> yes. I'm Nancy Kaysen, your host today. I have a little gift shop called the Red Ribbon, and we've moved back to the little White House on Central Avenue. So cute. And so cute. It is so cute. And my co-host, Bernay Beatty, is retired. here. Retired. Retired. Y'all hear that every week, Dog person. Retired. Dog person. Yes, dog person. And we will have dogs today, but we're starting out with Cheryl Barker, who and has this yes, can you wonderful, see? Oh. wonderful stuff. Yes. And Cheryl has a business that's in the incubator here at Cleveland State. The Green Incubator. At the Green Incubator, yes. and it's called Serendipity C -B. CB. Yes. Now, there CB does stand for something. You tell me. Creative Botanicals. Creative Botanicals. Yes. Okay, yes. Cheryl. Now, just tell us about this wonderful stuff. Yes. Oh God. That Cheryl. we're putting on and smelling. We yes. have slathered on. Yes. We have slathered on. <laughs> we have. The we luminous have right slathered it on. The luminous body butter, uh -huh. and that is a whipped shea butter with um, vanilla and honey in it. So you can use it for a complete body out of the shower, um, uh. out of the tub, or on any dry spots that you have, elbows, hands, feet. I bet it's great cuticle cream. Yes. 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 Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah. Isn't it though? Oh, God. So, I tell you what smells it smells like. If you drive down Peerless Road and you pass the M&M plant, when they're doing the cooking the chocolate. What I've been told, it's not really chocolate you're smelling. But oh, that's, really? That's what Joe Burton told me. But anyway. <laughs> That's what it smells Could like. All me. right, now Cheryl. Okay. How gotta have him in the on. world did you get started with this? Yes. Well, it started um, <laughs> at home in the kitchen making body scrubs and things like that for uh, family and just for my own personal use. And then when I went to the incubator to be in the innovation center where I'm at, that is also a manufacturing facility. Mm -hmm. So the, one of the requirements is that you are making something. Yeah. Um, I do massage and skin care, but I didn't have the product. So from that, we expanded from the kitchen to the manufacturing building. Wow. So. How wonderful. Now, do you do yeah. all the manufacturing yourself? I do. Or do you have, okay, you do. Nope. Yeah. Wow. Now. Well, unless unless my friends and my family, they've been known to come and stick labels and whatever. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful friends and, and family. And she yes. brought a whole basket of things. Yes. This is CC Blast Body Scrub. This is Luminous Body Butter. This is what we've been slathering. Enticement mm. Body Scrub. Oh, there's all kinds of things. Mumbling Moon Aroma Mist. Yes. Mumbling that, Moon? Yes. That, that is that too funny. Um, that is a scent named after a friend of mine, his business, and I had made that for him to, uh, he has a wood studio at the other end of the incubator, and so that one's the patchouli and orange and vanilla and cedar wood, so it has a real manly uh, ooh, scent. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we'll, yeah. we'll, now, ooh. let me we'll ask you this. that too. <laughs> where, oh, do, oh. but I, <laughs> we're going to really smell good when we yeah. leave here, folks. Okay, now, we're talking about you. We're talking about you in the incubator. I'm sure you don't just manufacture this so you can have a stack of this at your house. No. So you sell it. We do. I sell it there at the um, shop, at the incubator. And then I have two places in town that are going to start carrying it next week. Oh, cool. Um, one is the Apple Tree Natural Food Store mm -hmm. down um, close to Target there in the plaza. Uh -huh. Yes. And so we're going to have all of the product down there. And then also at Noggin Salon and Spa over on Guthrie. So they'll oh, have it cool. there. Oh, well, yeah. if you're interested in anyone downtown handling it, give me a call at the Red Ribbon because okay. we might want to carry it down there. Great. Right. Yeah. Because it would be great for yeah. Christmas. Uh-huh. Well, and that's Christmas what we'll gifts. do is we're going to put together some uh, gift baskets for, you know, the fall and probably um, late October, early November, try to have a pumpkin spice scent Ooh. and one of the scrubs mm -hmm. just for a little uh, holiday, you know, yeah. uh, basket. But we'll have several of those and then we can add gift certificates for massage or skin care services with the basket as well. So, cool. massage, I love that mm -hmm. word. Yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your massages. Okay. I have, um, most of them are a, a relaxation massage. I do do deep tissue, uh, but most of my clients are there to uh, benefit from massage, you know, lower blood pressure, sleep better at night, Ooh, overall be well-being. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, Relax. Yes, <laughs> relaxing. A lot of them work at their desk and their shoulders mm -hmm. are up around their knee, uh, ears, you know, and. But um, so we do a 30 minute that is just neck, shoulders, back, 
uh, I do an hour massage that is full body, and then we do an hour and a half massage. Oh my goodness. That, yes, that gives you time you have to, to really... carry those people out. <laughs> yeah, really well, do it with me. I, mean, <laughs> I really, know it. honestly, I need to give them plenty of time to roll off the table for yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So here again, so, you do that at I the do. incubator. Mm -hmm. Now, for those that don't know where the incubator is, okay, please tell we me. We are um, well. Actually, my building is at the north end of campus on Cleveland State. Mm -hmm. And the address there is 3575 Atkinson Drive, and I'm in Suite 1050. Now, the north end is the end that's closest to closest to Target. target. Okay. Uh -huh. And I am next to the softball it's a field. It's a new tan building that sits back up off the road behind the pine trees. And, and it's so exciting because it's a green facility. Yes. It is. With green manufacturing in yes. there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's wonderful. Now... Tell them how to get a hold of you. We're going to come back yes. and talk about some of your products. Okay. But we want to do that more yes. than once. How do they get a hold okay. of you? Okay. The phone number there is 423-559-7805. And if I'm not there or if I'm with a client, you can always leave a message and I will call back. For those folks that like to text, I have several clients that text for appointment times. Um, my cell phone number is area code 865-803-6421 or they can always um, get more information about us on the website, which That's is, right, so you do have yeah, a web. Mm -hmm. um, is serendipity, and it's a hyphen cb.com is the website. Now, let's go back to you and, and your products. Okay. Yes. You're in your kitchen, you decide you need to do this. Mm -hmm. Whatever possessed you to decide that you needed to do this? Well, um, being an esthetician, I love skin care. And you're a what now? An esthetician. Yes, explain to <laughs> all yeah, of that, us. Yes, that is um, a person that does skin care. Okay. That skin care professional, I guess. Um, but so when I went, I've been an esthetician actually longer than a massage therapist. And so having that background of how um, your skin absorbs uh, products and things like that, but you know, when you go uh, out, there's so many chemicals and stuff mm -hmm. in it. So I was trying to do an all natural line that, um, you know, people with allergies or sensitive skin like myself that you can, you know, put on there and not have reactions to, to all of the chemicals. So I like that term, all natural. Yes. yes. So every, every ingredient is, I'm telling you folks, this stuff my is stomach wonderful. is gonna growl in a minute because this smells so good. But well you could pretty you could eat that and still be safe. It may not taste as good as it smells. Well, it's but. gonna taste as good as the chocolate. <laughs> now I think I'm smelling, but all natural. Yes. So everything is made with um, ingredients that you can get out of your kitchen. Hot yes. dog. Wow. So uh, yeah, I use a lot of shea ice. butter, mm -hmm. almond oil, honey, and pure vanilla extract. Yep. And I, I use a lot of essential oils, which are, mm -hmm. you know, of course you do not want to ingest essential oils, so don't eat it. But, uh, <laughs> but there are no fragrances in any of my products. Everything is a pure uh, essential oil, which cuts down on the allergies. And uh, the scrubs are all uh, sugar scrubs as yeah. opposed to a salt scrub. A salt scrub can be very abrasive. Uh, to the skin, so a sugar scrub you can actually use all over your body um, instead of you know just exfoliating your your legs or, or arms. Brown with. sugar, sugar, pure cane sugar, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, honey, metafoam oil. What's that? And pure vanilla extract. What's metafoam, metafoam oil is kind of a thicker oil, and it helps with the shelf oh. life. You can go ahead and no, it, no okay. it'll unseal. Oh. It's already. Um, oh, been okay. open. It just oh, okay. sits on top there. Um, but the metaphone, it is. Um, that does look edible. Mm -hmm. it, it is a thicker oil that helps um, with shelf life, mm -hmm. but it is also very good for sensitive skin. And that one is a kind of just a real light scrub. Yeah. So people that have real sensitive skin can use that, and, and that helps with any reactions or. Uh, that they might have. Okay, I gotta read this. Don't let the tempting toasty scent fool you. This decadent scrub will charm your skin with soft and silky magic. I love whoever writes your stuff. <laughs> she has some this really is... <laughs> neat things written she on these does. that are just, just wonderful. And uh, yeah. she will take credit for some of them, but she said she's had some help with some yes. others. 
Now, mm -hmm. how did you find out about the incubator? Well, actually, my sister-in-law works over at Cleveland State. Uh -huh. And we were talking, um, wasn't really looking for a spot because I was at a salon here in town doing the skincare and the massage. And um, she was talking about that it's a good startup you know, business place, and I called, Hurley Buff is the director yes, over there, mm -hmm. and uh, I called him just to kind of get more information, and then I also had talked to the small business uh, folks at the Small They're Business Center, Center. Center yeah. yes, um, just to try to get some marketing information for the business, you know, trying to promote within the salon, and then once I realized, uh, you know, well, they have space, and it was uh, low cost, low mm -hmm. startup, um, you know, it was kind of, it just fell in my lap and, yeah. and I went from there, so. It's great. Yeah. I mean, it's just great. Well, I have here, I, w I brought these, I cut these out of the paper. This is your ribbon cutting. In case anybody can't find you, you've got a nice sign mm -hmm. outside yes. your entrance. So you should be able, serendipity, CB. And then here's another little article about you. I cut both of these out of the paper. And uh, Cheryl Barker is now a natural rep for small businesses in two centers. So. I'll give oh, those to well, you. thank you so and, much. All right, now again, to give, the us the phone, <laughs> give us the phone numbers. Okay, again. the phone number at the shop is 423-559-7805, or you can reach me on my cell, which is 865-803-6421. Uh, either one is fine. If you're, uh, if you're a texter, you can text um, about appointments. Um, and go to the website for all of the services. Everything is, all the menu of services are lift, listed on the website. Do you do men massages too? I do. Good, because I you're do. on my husband's way home and he's just dying for a massage. <laughs> so I could Currently, send him this Currently at the one. moment, I probably have more men clients than I do really? uh, female. Mm -hmm, that all of the wives uh, come for the facials and some will come for massage and then they send their, their husbands yeah. for the massage because that's the only way they can get them to relax. And while, and while <laughs> yeah. you've got them there, you can sell them gift cards and gift certificates. That's right. <laughs> I need to. I need to sell them. Yes, you do. Okay, so they can get that's home. it. Cheryl, thank you so yes. much. Well, thank we you. We are right up against a commercial break, but thank you so much. And everybody, well, Serendipity you. CB, right over here on the campus of Cleveland State. So and this stuff is wonderful. It is wonderful. It yes. is wonderful, oh. folks. So don't go away. Mm. I think we have some little four-legged friends. I believe I yes, heard them. Do. That'll be coming in with us in just a moment. So. Cheryl, thank you so well, thank much. You thank so you all so much for I'm having us. Great local sports right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Keep up to date on all your Walker Valley sports news Wednesdays with the Walker Valley Sports Zone. Get a behind the scenes look at all the local high school area football with the pregame Thursdays at 10. And it's a Friday night tradition. Ball Friday, every Friday night at 11 o'clock, right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland, is the place to find quality pre owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on the spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 Seven one zero zero. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at Has your disability application been denied? Are you frustrated with the administration's processing of your claim? 
Do you feel as though the administration simply does not understand why you cannot work? You're not alone. My name is Matthew Coleman and I'm an attorney representative. I find that many of my clients share these concerns and others. As a representative, it's my job to communicate your claim to the administration in a language that they can understand. As an attorney, it's my duty to fight for the disability benefits that you deserve. Come talk to me, the Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson, PC. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don't look for Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, it's a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. And we're back and it's yeah. four-legged friend day. And I got the well puppy. Know. Amber Day's got the puppy. And this is the <coughs> cutest little thing. And I will tell you right now, it loves the shea butter yes. on Bernays' hand. So, so Cheryl probably didn't know she had a doggy treat here, yeah. but she did. <laughs> Lindsay Smith is with us. And Hi. Lindsay's with the No Kill Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland for, for No Kill, kill City. city. I, I don't know why I keep leaving Cleveland off. And she has two wonderful little pets with her today. Precious things. Day. And our record right now is pretty good. It is. Our record is stellar. Mm -hmm. Because we are here. getting yes. them <clears throat> adopted. So we have two today that, <laughs> and their time is roughly? Um, well, this one can be adopted at any time. Okay. Our time is not up yet. I believe he's past due. Okay, <clears throat> and this is Tommy. This is Tommy, and he's dog 468. He's Did a you? little boy. He's about two years old. Looks to be like a Jack Russell mix. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's gorgeous. Pretty he colored is. and everything. And he's named after Thomas, who stands in the sidelines every week and does not want to be on TV. Well, he wanted to name him Luther. <laughs> he no. Okay. But we appreciate Thomas helping Lindsay get yes, the dogs here. Yes, we do. Here. Absolutely. And we would love to have Thomas on TV one day, but he's, no, he says. That will so. never happen. So, so we have uh, a stand-in for Thomas today named Tommy. Named Tommy. Yeah. And Tommy's probably two years old. Probably around two. Okay. Jack Russell Mix loves to ride in the car. You can see he's really... Chilled he's out in my lap. He is. He is um, beautiful. The sweetest little thing. He was just kind of starting to fall asleep just between animal control and here. So. And feet he, looks like he's grown into him already. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's full he's grown. He's there. He's there. And he's okay. got 492. 492. Now, remember, folks, it's important. If you see something you like, you jot that number down. He's yes, 492. 492. And the number they have to call is 423-464-6070. And we'll yes. do that two or three more times. Right. Yes. Because, yes. because Tommy needs a forever home. And I'm sorry, yeah. I just said that wrong. He is number 468. 468. Yeah, yeah I've, gotten him, I've got him written on my hand. Uh, we love that. I'm to be secret the, about it. The first, Dog 468. Uh -huh, the first she time, is puppy 492. Puppy, and there's a difference. Puppy. If, if you're interested in Tommy, you have to put dog. You have to say dog. Girl, and if you're whoop, interested, whoop, Renee, whoop. are you hurting that little blessing? No, we're hurting playing. Little thing. <laughs> now, this one, we're not sure what she is. It says hound mix on the card. Okay, hound mix. So it could, could be a little bit of a hound mix. Um, mm -hmm. she's, so, she's super sweet. Super sweet. Uh, absolutely and adorable. It, beautiful. And her sister was adopted yesterday. Okay, uh, beautiful brindle marking. Uh, the yes, face she's got is a adorable. White collar and white, white collar. Feet. Oh, just, she's just all precious. dressed up and ready to go. She is. She is just precious. <laughs> and while we were waiting right here, and she started whining in my in my arms, so we took him outside, put her in the grass. She went. 
She went to the bathroom and then I picked good. her back up and we came back in. Good, good, good. <gasps> so you are so We won't smart. say she's totally potty trained, but she does know what she's supposed to do when yes. she gets on the grass. Yeah, and, we're, and she is yeah. adorable. Does she have puppy breath? Yes. I love puppy I breath. Love There's puppy nothing breath. like puppy breath. And she is just... Oh, well, she's got the hiccups now. <laughs> the little look on this she's face, growing. folks. So we think she's six weeks? Six weeks. Six weeks. Hound mm -hmm. mix, and we were discussing before we went on that she looked like she was a little boxer. She yeah. does have some Everybody, boxer yeah. in her. And, 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 uh, and she's oh, look just, at his little curly tail. Little curly stub. Yeah, Thomas was calling him Stumpy and Luther. And I said, no, neither <laughs> no, one of those don't work. So no, we'll just no. name him after you, <laughs> Thomas. We'll call him Tommy. <laughs> okay, and precious. Both yes, of these look are precious. Look how calm he is. Now yeah. let's talk about, we don't just walk in and say, I want that dog. Um, no, you. The, the best thing to do is to call our number, 423-464-6070. We have a volunteer who is on call 24-7, um, seven days a week, and what we do is... Not the same volunteer. Tommy right? wants Tommy. Tommy. Yes, he's <laughs> no. Thomas over there on the it. side. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Heaven forbid he step in the camera shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you, you call our number, and we send a fax every morning, and the dogs that we put down on the fax have definite adopters, and then they are not euthanized. And Fantastic. have to go and get them that day. But it is extremely full. Um, it, it's a combination of summer, uh, lots of owner surrenders there, and a lot of strays. I mean, a, a lab mix mom was brought in with her litter of four puppies whose eyes are still closed. Oh, my goodness. Um, that was an owner surrender. We have um, several. There's... You know, one of the problems that we're seeing that I don't really understand how this happens either is that someone will come and claim their dog and then never pick it up. So then we have that problem to worry about as well. Um, and that dog in there, if you go and claim your dog and you don't come pick your dog up, your dog's taking up space and another dog you know, has to go, um, has to go somewhere. Come here, you cute little so, um, Come here, you cute little so yeah, they're extremely full right now. Okay. And when they're full, it leads to bites, it leads to parvo, it leads right. to, you know, it's not that oh, these guys are the microphone. <laughs> running around trying to kill dogs. That's not yeah. good. That's not no. good. This is absolutely, folks, honest to goodness, this is the cutest little thing I believe I've ever seen. And we named her? Bella. 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 Okay, Bella. And these... Now, like I say, and Lindsay just said, you cannot walk in and just say, I want that dog. Well, you actually can. I mean, if, if that's the way you want to go about it. However, um, that dog may not be there anymore. And if, you know, if, if you're watching this right now and you see this dog and you think, oh, my God, I want that dog. I don't want anything to happen to that dog. Right. You must call the number right now. Okay. All right. Did you get that? Can you all see this absolutely adorable, oh, precious look thing at I it. have? Look and at that one that Renee has, these are just too cute. You're just too cute. Yes, oh, right. look at him okay. on there. Just too cute. And now, it does cost to adopt these dogs. It does. It's $50. It is so and that reasonable. And covers mm -hmm. their um, first round of shots and their spaying and neutering surgery at Dixie Day Spay or at Appalachian. Um, if you choose to go to your own vet, they may charge more and often do. Um, which is their prerogative to do so, but the fifty dollars covers the um, the first round of shots and the spaying and neutering at both of those places. And Tommy is sponsored. Okay, so, so Tommy that has a means there's Whoa. no Tommy. Now, Tommy, who, who <laughs> does the fifty dollars go to? They they pay animal control. They pay animal control, mm -hmm. and then animal control notifies Dixie Day Spay or they they, they, they then deliver the dog there. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's not an option to spay your neuter. Okay, so it's Thomas takes the dog somewhere. One of the road guys does. Okay, yes. okay, and and see, we're gonna blame everything on Thomas today. And Thomas, <laughs> he'll be so happy. I'm sure he will. He's still not coming on TV. He's over there looking at me, glaring at me, thinking I need to put her in the pound. But anyway, <laughs> this thing right here is precious. Yeah. I'm telling y'all right now, this too. is cute. There's a lot ever. of puppies there right now. Okay. A lot of puppies. There were two litters. That were there. One whole litter comes up for adoption tomorrow. Um, and they are what kind? They're oh. well. I mean, generally. I think I think on the card it says pit mix. Okay. But we were just talking about that on the way over here. I I really think that they they look more like lab mixes. I don't know. It, it says on the card pit mix. He put it on there, so I I'm not going to get we into an argument with him with right Thomas. now. That's exactly <laughs> right. 
And I'm telling you, folks, this thing's precious. Now, this is this is the only one of this. You've already the only one got that. But you're going to go and find two other really small puppies and then um, other 10, 11, 12-week puppies. Yeah. Okay, and then with the mama lab that was just brought in with eight puppies that their eyes with aren't four even open. puppies oh, and four. their eyes aren't even open. And we're going, like, those are not going to be up for adoption until they can be weaned. So okay. Cleveland for a no-kill is looking for a way to pull them and have them be somewhere until they can be weaned and vetted and then go up for adoption. Okay, like somebody So we'll be looking foster for a foster, them. exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. Now, one reason I cannot go to the shelter and He's Thomas about has to nothing. Chew on the mic microphone again. again. Thomas, it has nothing to do with you. But <laughs> if I can't do it because I won't, I'm going to take mm -hmm. them all home. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the divorce is going to cost more than having gotten the dogs will right. cost. So I can't do that. But people can go out there, can't they? Yes, and they absolutely can. They're open from 11 until 5. Adoptions can take place from 11 until 5 during the week. And they're also open from 10 to 12 on Saturdays. Um, the, oh, they're open on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the best way to do it if if you don't want to go to the pound, and I didn't either. I, I, I didn't can't want do it, to go, Lindsay, but I cannot do it. Somebody had to. So I understand, and I thank you for going in my place. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, you know, if the best thing that you can do without getting your heart broken a thousand times over is to go on our Facebook page. Yes. And we now have a website, and it's yes. Cleveland for a No Kill City. I believe it's .org, and I should have. I, I would guess it, it is. Yeah. Because um, you're a nonprofit agency, right? We actually are not. Oh, not. well, you may be .com. Just a volunteer yeah. group. Of okay. Things. Okay. But if you if you want to peruse pictures and not feel that pervading sense of guilt when you walk down the row and see all these faces, mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. want to just peruse pictures and pick out a dog, you don't ever have to go past the front room. You can wait outside and it's first come, first serve, walk in the room and say, I want dog number whatever. Oh. You get a card and you don't ever. Oh, what'd you do with my earring? Um, Here we chewing go. on it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got it. Oh. This is a precious little doll, God is to goodness, but she's feisty, a puppy. Feisty, feisty. Okay, again, do us a phone number because we want these, both of these dogs need a home. Yes, they do. 423-464-6070. And I'll read my cheat sheet. Okay. This is dog 468, a two-year-old boy. We named him Tommy, but... Um, animal control goes name. by his number, and that is 468. Okay. She is puppy 492, and she's a girl. And she is adorable. And they're and both available right now. She has now eaten my earring and the button off of my sweater. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and going for the microphone. So there we go. Bella, you are precious. Yes. She needs a home and you some are, chew toys. She needs a lot of chew toys. A, a lot, lot of, of chew, chew toys. toys. Leslie, thank yes. you so much. We okay. appreciate Leslie yes. goes by. Lindsay. I mean, Lindsay, Lindsay excuse me. Your <laughs> That's okay. Leslie. I answered to it. I've answered to it my whole life. I can <laughs> bet you have. I'm sorry. Her sister, she has a sister named Leslie. Lindsay goes by and picks these else. animals up from the pound and brings them in. Yes. And we have her booked in one, Every, two, and three. Yeah. Well, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> this one needs two toys for sure. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you. Thank you're you welcome. so much. And welcome. folks, we're right up in a commercial again. So yeah. these dogs need to be adopted, and this yes. thing is precious. So so call, go online, and let's find homes for these two fellas. Yes, thank you. Thank you, gal. I appreciate it. And thank you, Thomas. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus. 
featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Has your disability application been denied? Are you frustrated with the administration's processing of your claim? Do you feel as though the administration simply does not understand why you cannot work? You're not alone. My name is Matthew Coleman and I'm an attorney representative. I find that many of my clients share these concerns and others. As a representative, it's my job to communicate your claim to the administration in a language that they can understand. As an attorney, it's my duty to fight for the disability benefits that you deserve. Come talk to me, the Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson, PC. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 7100. And we are back and we're kind of straightening ourselves out a little yes. bit. <laughs> and I did, uh, Bella did get the button off my sweater, but I'll sew that back on. And I did rescue my earring out of her mouth. Um, and my mother always told me never follow dogs or small children. Uh, but Marion Cook is gracious enough sorry, to fight, Marian. and we are so sorry that he had to follow that, but Marion is with the Cleveland Bradley Community Concert Association, and he has a lot to tell us, so I'm just going to hand it off to you, and well, you tell him. Thank you, Nancy. It's good to be here, and as you already know, we begin our 2012-2013 season next Thursday night, one week from tonight, uh, and we have a show called Broadway Today. Now, almost every year it seems like we try to bring something that's Broadway, mm -hmm. and that's because I don't know anybody that doesn't like Broadway music. Yep. Uh, something for everybody. Unfortunately, it's been about 10 years since I've been to Broadway, but some of your viewers have probably been since then, and anybody that has knows that the Broadway musical is alive and well on the Absolutely. Great White Way. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will have uh, four people from who are current Broadway stars will be here, and they will be singing songs from recent musicals, uh, such as The Lion King, Phantom of the Opera, Wicked, Jersey Boys, Mamma Mia, and those songs. And of course, they do the classics, like uh, songs from West Side Story, Mary Poppins, uh, Chicago, uh, <laughs> South Pacific, you know, those songs that never grow old. Never grow old. And, never, and all never. generations still know them when mm -hmm. they're sung. Uh, now, we booked this show, uh, of course, a year ago, we may talk about that a little bit uh, later, but. Uh, we don't, didn't know exactly who the four Broadway people would be because there's several that do the show, but they have to do it in accordance with the schedule that they have at Broadway and other events. So about a month ago, I emailed our booking agent and I said, have you got the names of, and the pictures of the ones that are going to be here? And he sent them to me. My daughter, who lives in Texas, was visiting. She was watching when I was pulling up on the screen, and she said, 
I went to high school with that guy, and sure enough, she did. And it's Brian Green, who went to Cleveland High School, uh, graduated, I believe, in not, around 1980, and uh, he has done right well in the entertainment world since, since he left Cleveland High School. He made his Broadway debut as Huck Finn in Big River, and he's been in several Broadway shows. And of course, the time of day your program comes on, probably some of the ladies are getting ready to watch their soaps. So they may recognize Brian from their soaps because he played the part of Alan Baird in Days of Our Lives. He played Sam Fowler in Another World and Brian Bodine in All My Children. So uh, those are all by me. I, yeah, me too. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm at work at that time. Yeah. So no. Nope. So anyway, some people may know that. And then uh, this uh, Sunday, the uh, Cleveland Banner has done an interview with Brian, and that will be published. So uh, if you went to high school with Brian, or if you had a kid that went to high school, you may want to get be sure and look that up mm -hmm. in the paper and read all about Brian. But we're really looking forward to that. And uh, it's always good to have somebody that grew up in Cleveland to Absolutely. be a part of our it's show. It's wonderful for us to have and, stars. And I don't know, I'm not sure that uh, this is Brian's picture, but I'm not sure it can be seen very well, but some of you will recognize uh, nice Brian from me. He's a very nice looking young man. Um, and we're looking forward to having him. Now the second show of the season uh, actually begins uh, in just a little over a month from our first one. It's November the 5th. And it features a young man named Jim, Whit Jim Witter. And he does a tribute to Simon and Garfunkel. And you know, the music of the 1960s, mm -hmm. you know, this yes. will be a feeling groovy night. Uh -huh. yes. And if you know the sound of silence and bridge over troubled mm -hmm. water, yeah. those were the songs that were the bookends for the decade of freedom and love. And so people who were there in the 60s know these songs or if they were in certain conditions, they may not know those songs in the 60s. <laughs> That's, but true. But That's never, true. Never I can that. sing along on <laughs> yes. both of those. Uh -huh. uh, Jim Witter has actually at least three different programs that he does. And back uh, in the spring, uh, he was in Athens and did one of his shows. And I didn't know about it till the day after or I would have gone. But my friends in Athens said he put on a wonderful show. And then later he was at the Tivoli with one of his shows in Chattanooga. And the price of some of the tickets there were more than what we charge for a season membership. So Absolutely. it's and a real bargain. Season membership is four performances, yes. folks. So. Yeah. And so uh, he, um, he will put on a great show. Actually, it's kind of interesting. He got started, uh, he said, singing when he was four years old. He would go out on the porch. He lives in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and sing. And the neighbors would tell his mother how good a voice he had and that he needs to pursue singing. And so he did. Hmm. And he has actually had nominations for many awards. He had a Dove nomination for Inspirational Album of the Year. And he sung with uh, uh, the Beach Boys, with Faith Hill, with Toby Keith and Shania Twain. Okay. So you may not yeah. know Jim Witter by that name now, but after November the 5th, you'll know who Jim Witter is. And he yeah. lives still in in Hamilton with his wife Rebecca and they have four children. So he's very much a family man and I think he'll put on a wonderful show for us that night. Um, and then of course we try to skip December and January, December because of Christmas activity, January because sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate with us. So our next show then will be uh, February 26th and it will be the Side Street Strutters. Now it don't mean a thing if it if ain't, you got, ain't that, got that, that swing, swing, you know. Do I, is, do I, do I, do I, do <laughs> I? I can sing a lot to that one too. This, this is a toe-tapping evening, mm -hmm. and the Strutters are a group of seven gentlemen, and they really have a big band sound. And then uh, they call their show Shiny Stockings, and it features the beautiful, powerful voice of a young lady named Melanie Collins. They have some really beautifully crafted uh, uh, arrangements, and they do some costume changes, and uh, they breathe new life into that old age of jazz and uh, you know I know some of these songs you may too things they will sing are almost like being in love April in Paris Frankie and Johnny I haven't heard that in a long time I haven't either but I can uh, sing along I can sing and along too I love our it. love is yeah. here to stay yeah. take the A train and then one yeah. of my favorites Stardust yeah oh that's so, my daddy's favorite song yes so they will be that were what they will be singing and they'll really put on a good show that and I think you'll you won't realize uh, how quick that show moves and you'll be wanting more when it's over. Uh, and then we close our season uh, April 25th uh, next year with Jason Coleman in the legacy of Floyd Kramer. Now 18 months or so ago we had Jason here in Cleveland. We've never had as many requests to get somebody back as we had to get Jason back. Mm -hmm. And so he's Floyd Kramer's grandson 
and he plays the music that made his famous grandfather so popular. You know, and some of you may not know that uh, Floyd Kramer played the piano for Elvis, for Roy Orbison, for Patsy Cline, and many of the country music stars. So when you heard them singing, a lot of times it was Floyd Kramer playing the piano. Uh, Jason plays all his grandfather's songs, that, uh, a lot of them that he played. And Jason made his, actually made his uh, Grand Ole Opry debut at the age of 17. And he later played for, for the Country Music Hall of Fame medallion ceremony where his granddaddy was inducted to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Jason's in his late 20s, just a fine young man. Wonderful, wonderful. People young loved man. him. He had a great rapport with the audience. And the night he was here before, his grandmother, who is Floyd Kramer's widow, and his mother, who is Floyd's daughter, were here. And uh, they're just really a nice family. Of course, you know his most famous song that he wrote was Last Date. And I, yeah, uh, and I, I could hum along to the yeah. <laughs> And he, uh, uh, I talked to his, mother, uh, to his mother about that. I said, does it have words to it? And she was telling me that Conway Twitty and Skeeter Davis each wrote, each wrote words to that. Conway Twitty's song was Lost Her Love on Our Last Date. And uh, Skeeter Davis's song was uh, uh, My Last Date. And um, <laughs> they're both tearjerkers, you know, as you would expect. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're really looking forward to having Jason back. And he also does a, a program with the kids. And he does what's, what they call a st uh, student um, yeah, star, star yeah, education. Star uh -huh. And so we hoped uh, to have some kids in the afternoon over, and we did last time. And he got off the Floyd Kramer stuff and did uh, Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga, but those kids and loved Shania it. Twain, uh, and Shania Twain. Yeah, they all played knew all it. of those with that slip note that his granddaddy made so famous. Yeah. Yeah. So. And slip note is, which he told us that night, that you hit the wrong note and you slip up to the right mm -hmm. note. And that was the style that Floyd Kramer had. It's very interesting. You know? It is. Now, Marion, tell everybody out there that's heard all these wonderful yes. information how they can get a ticket right. to this event. Well, we sell season memberships because uh, we have to pay up front. And a season membership for one adult is $50. That gets you into all four shows. Barely much more than you'd pay if you went to four movies, you know. That's right. And, $12.50. Uh, yeah, 12 that's right. Uh, you know. you can. Now, if for a family of uh, two adults and two students, it's $110. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, it is a real bargain. It is. And uh, you can... Of course, we're getting close to it. You can go by Nancy's place at the Red Ribbon for a brochure, call her, or you can pick up a ticket there, or you can get them that night. Now, we're working on getting a website set up and so on, but right now, it's the old-fashioned way. You've got to give us a check or you've got to give us cash. Right. And, uh, and that's, how we, that's how we handle it now. Uh, so we're looking forward to, to uh, all these programs, and we think people are going to really enjoy them. Just a little bit, if i got a little time here, just We're a little. We're about to be up on a commercial, but yeah. let's promote this just a little bit more yeah. because, I, I, Marion, I'm going to have you back on before each performance so you can talk about what those uh, people do. But these tickets, $50 a ticket, and you can buy them that night. But something we're doing, folks, because of Brian Green, we're going to sell tickets to just that night's performance for $25. And we, we don't normally do that, but we're going to do that because it's Brian. Right. We think that some people may want to come in and hear Brian, but have commitments and can't come to the other concerts. Of course, for another 25 bucks, you can <laughs> come to all three. Exactly. All and four what they may find out once they hear Brian and see what the rest of the season is going to be, they may decide they want to buy season tickets for the rest of it because even if you bought a $50 ticket, you're still going to get three more performances yes. right. for that $50. So, and we need to say that all these are at Con Center, mm -hmm. Con and, they, Center. and they begin at 7 o'clock. Right. And we would love to pack that auditorium. Mm -hmm. Now, Brene gets to come because she is an Encore student. Yes. Oh, good. So, yeah. Lee students get to come free. Cleveland State students come free. You just show us your student, student ID, ID. And, and we let you in. But the rest of you need tickets. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And we will sell them that night at the con center and we'll open the doors about six o'clock. Yeah, well, the entertainers usually don't like for us to come in until 6.30, but we'll right. have people there to sell tickets at right. 6 o'clock. about 6 o'clock. And, and I should say that Nancy is the president of the Cleveland Bradley <laughs> Concert Association. If you want more information, you can call her at the Red Ribbon at 473-1114 
or you can call me on my cell phone, which is 715-5662, and we'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have. And Marion's the publicity chair and has done a great job this year of getting our publicity out. There was a full page in the banner yeah, Sunday, that, yeah. which was wonderful. And again, banner, thank you all. And the article about Brian Green will be in there, and then there'll be an article about about all the concerts, about all yeah. the concerts again and, coming up. And so. I might say that we booked these a year in advance. We had a meeting this past Tuesday, and we selected our concerts for 2013 and 2014. So wow, this is, uh, these and we people think it's are going to be yeah. good too. These people are in demand, so we have to do that a year yeah, in advance. And right. we we do go to Nashville and to an artist showcase. We and, be in Marion. Marion goes to Nashville, and but. some others of our organization mm -hmm. have, and and we get to see. These people perform for 15 minutes, and it's a really quite a production. They do a wonderful job. When you imagine two and a half days, all afternoon, two days, and then about three shows at one night. Overload, uh, yeah. And uh, they put it together, and it's it's a professionally done thing. But it get, not only gives us an opportunity to see uh, these people perform, but there's about 500 people there because our booking agent books all over the country and you have people there from all over the country so you get to see how the audience reacts and to that too. And that's always yeah. a key yeah. to us yeah. booking people. Marion, thank you so much and I want you to get back on before the November performance so we can talk about Jim Winter yeah. again. Yeah. Folks, we'll be right back in just a minute. Don't go away. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold and a handshake is firm and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Has your disability application been denied? Are you frustrated with the administration's processing of your claim? Do you feel as though the administration simply does not understand why you cannot work? You're not alone. My name is Matthew Coleman and I'm an attorney representative. I find that many of my clients share these concerns and others. As a representative, it's my job to communicate your claim to the administration in a language that they can understand. As an attorney, it's my duty to fight for the disability benefits that you deserve. Come talk to me, the Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson, PC. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive-thru. Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. 
See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. And we are back. Get your pencil and paper ready. We That's got right. Stuff. We're going to tell you some things, but I want to tell y'all first. Yesterday afternoon, or yesterday at noon, I had the privilege of riding a large bus out to the new airport oh, and yeah. seeing the 5,000, 5,500 foot runway concrete this thick, wonderful and the new terminal oh. uh, that's under construction, and it was wonderful. Really? I mean, it is, folks, it is gonna be something that the city is gonna be really, really proud to have. And uh, there was a nice group of people that went out there, mm. and uh, we had lunch and a tent on the tarmac, and <laughs> and it was really, really nice, and yeah, the weather nice was weather beautiful. Too, yeah. You know, the weather's been strange. I know, this is like October weather. I know. But uh, of course, it got a little warm today, so I have my sandals on. But um, I'm not arguing. I love it. I could do this year round. Now, I had I my little footies on the other night. It was cool. Yeah. And now here we go. But we want to tell you about some things. Yes. Tonight at the library, which we don't like to be the best kept secret in Cleveland because it's no. wonderful. There will be one of those Road 2 movies. The, this one's The Road to Morocco with Bob Hope and Ben Crosby. I think that's Crosby. my favorite. And, and Dorothy Lamar. And, and they Dorothy never Lamar. Say Lamar. That. She, no, but she's in all of them. She is. So she and it's at it. 7 o'clock tonight, and it's pop, freshly popped popcorn is available. And this is a free family event, and these happen each month. So go down to the library and see the On the Road to Morocco. Morocco. That, that was my favorite one. You know, and I bet you don't have to bring family with you if you want to see Oh, it. I bet you I don't bet you can just go I, mm -hmm, and watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Taylor Ruritan Club is having a turkey and ham shoot. It started Saturday the 22nd, but it goes through November the 17th, and it's at 10 a.m. I'm assuming those are Saturdays, and mm -hmm. it's at the Taylor's Ruritan Club, and for more information, call... Uh, Kathy at 413-5383. And we were just talking about, I didn't know what a turkey and a ham shoot was. So Nancy, could you? You really do not shoot turkeys and pigs. You shoot at a target. And the closer you get to the bullseye, then you, you win a turkey or a ham. Ready for the other. Ready for the, yes, yes. So That made me feel a lot better. Yeah, there's, yes, you know, Bardet, the dog, an animal <laughs> lover here, would probably be down there picketing against someone shooting at pigs, but that's not what happens. No, <laughs> not at all. Okay, good. I'm happy. Good. Are you going to do next? I, I will go next. Okay. The Salvation Army Community Chorus, if anybody's interested in joining, will practice tonight from 6 to 8. Uh, at the Peerless Road Church, and um, they will do a worship night on October 25th. So you call Roxanne at 331-3780 if you're interested in singing. This is a fun, talented, upbeat group. Yes, yes, they are. They are have good music. I like to listen to them. Okay, this weekend there is something really special. Bet you haven't heard of this before either. Uh, we have an alpaca farm here in Cleveland and they're having an open house and I got to go out there one time and it is absolutely fabulous and you know you gardeners will understand this but they they will sell you little containers of alpaca poop because it is the best fertilizer for your garden and you can make uh, alpaca poop tea and it comes in like a, um, oh, what is that, cheesecloth stuff, and you put it in water, and then you can water your house plants with it. And I mean, it doesn't But you don't drink it. No, you don't drink okay. it. No, it, it's garden tea. Okay, it's okay. It's garden tea, yes. Okay. No, please don't drink it. Okay, but because any, I was sitting here thinking, I am not even going out there. Okay. <laughs> no, they will not serve that to you. Okay. But anyway, uh, it's National Alpaca Farm Days, and it's this Saturday from 10 until 5, and Sunday from noon until 5 p.m. And uh, you can find all about alpaca farming, and they also have a gift shop. 
and they have some things that are made out of the alpaca fur. Wow. And it's it's really neat like stuff. Like scarves and stuff scarves like that? Scarves and oh, sweaters wow. and little hats and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to get my granddaughter something for Christmas. How cute. Yeah. And that's up on the north end of Cleveland? It's, yes, it is. It's Susan and Peter Goodwin, and it's at 5749 North Lee Highway, and their phone number is 559-9100. And they have a website, and it's www.fosterstrailalpacas.com. Dot com. Okay. They are a business, so that, it's a dot that com. Is, that is fascinating, yes. folks. But, I mean, yeah, and you can tour and, and see the animals and everything, and they're so cute. <laughs> and they they're really four-legged, so you know yeah. how Brene <laughs> feels about them. Okay. Now, back to the library. Uh, the teens will gather for an after-hour teen zone on the 29th, uh, I believe that's Saturday, from 7 until 9. And then the teens play in different events each month during the teen advisory group and that meets on Monday uh, afternoons, the first Monday of each month at 4.30. So some of you might be interested in going to that and seeing what all they're going to be doing. Yes, and this Saturday we have the Walk of Life, a free health fair. It's a co community event and it's going to be at Bradley Square Mall from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. and it's sponsored by the 100 Black Men and they're going to have uh, uh, blood pressure, uh, bone scan, cigarette smoking, circulation exam, dental exam, mini health lecture, all sorts of screenings and everything, and it's free admission, folks. I thought I so, saw a sign for that there on Willow at the Greenway. Yeah, there okay. is. All right. Yes, there is. They've got signs all over. And if you want more information, you can contact Jonathan Porter at 596-0740. So that's always a really good thing. It is. Yeah. It is. And, and we need to keep our health that under is control. For sure. yes. That is for sure. The Cleveland Elks will be having their golf tournament on October the 6th at Chatta Valley Golf Club. And um, you need to call them at the Elks Lodge, and we'll mention this again next week, 476-5781. Uh, you have, there's different sponsorships, but this goes for all of the good things that the Elks do in Cleveland Bradley County so get out there if you play golf and support the the Elks golf tournament yes and if you have pets this uh, and if you have multiples this will be particularly interesting this Saturday September 29th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. no appointment necessary uh, Dixie Day Spay that's out on Airport Road they have a low-cost vaccine clinic all vaccines heartworm tests deworming feline leukemia and you can get a three-year rabies vaccine at $10. And all other vaccines are wow. available at low, low cost. Yeah. So they also have Advantage Flea Preventative, Frontline Flea and Tick Preventative, and Iverheart Max Heartworm Preventatives at low prices. And that's, so, who, did you say Dixie Spay? Dixie Day Spay. Day Spay. And now tell yes. us where Dixie Day Spay is. Okay, it's on the old airport. Yes. On going to the old airport, Hardwick Field, go up North Lee Highway, and right after Tasso Road, uh, there where the old bowling alley used to be. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. That's how we Southerners give directions we do. anyway. And then there's Airport Road going out to Hardwick Field, and it's just right there. You can't miss it. And that's, it's, I always hate uh, it too when people say you can't miss it, because I always do. But, <laughs> but there are some things coming up next weekend that we'll yes. tell you about. And don't forget, folks, you can... Add a dollar to your utility bill yes. and help those that, with this chilly weather that's just come in, it's reminding us that winter will be here. Yes. And there are people who cannot pay all of their utility bills, so Cleveland Utilities will help them out. And this has been a great show. It has. And it really we thank happened. you all so much for being with us, and we'll be back with you next week. So and go adopt a dog. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. See you.